What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Oklahoma Luxury Home Tours. Today we're in Jones, Oklahoma. First time we're in Jones to show you this amazing, beautiful home that, I mean, it's, I'm so excited to show you this because it's got so many cool features to it. Um, but yeah, specs on the house, it's listed for just over $2 million. It's 7,317 7, square feet. It's got five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, full car garage, full sprinkler system, two and a half acres, which you don't see a full sprinkler system on like two and a half acres, but they've put some money into it. It looks fabulous. Gated all the way around, beautiful pond behind us. I mean, it's, we were here a little earlier this morning and it's just incredible. Steam coming up off the lake, wildlife out there doing their thing. Um, just pumped to show you this house. And, and like I said, first time we've been in Jones, um, and it, it, it's a it, it's it's magnificent. So before we go inside, I want to thank the listing agent Holly Robertson from Treywood Real Estate for letting us tour her listing. Uh, Peak Real Estate Photography for doing amazing videography work. Porsche of Oklahoma City for transport and Mizzen and Maine for this plaid shirt because we're in season, Canon. It is full season. I'm dressed appropriately. So uh, if you guys are ready, let's go on inside. You ready? Let's go on inside. Another solid door, Canon. That was a very solid very door. Very solid door, very heavy door. Yes. It's awesome. Uh, all right, we're inside. Awesome entryway. I love like the grand staircase entryway. It, I've said this many times, it reminds me of like prom night, right? When you're coming in <laughs> and the dude is like super nervous to meet like yeah, yeah. the family or whatever and his date's coming down the stairs. <laughs> That's just what I see. That's just what comes to mind when I see I a can, staircase uh, like that. I but can see that, yeah. That's epic, right? Which you'll probably get a better view from it once you go up the stairs later. But it is on a uh, retracted system, so it goes up and down, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it, messing up with it on a ladder. But I love like the just entryway, right? They're just yeah, extended great. ceiling, very, uh, ceilings. It's grand entry. It is a, like a real formal entryway, isn't it? So, but yeah, we're, we're here, we're in the entryway, um, dining room off to the left. I love it when it's like just a bigger dining room, right? Like it's, I get the feeling here that like you could have people like serve you. Does that make sense? Like I know the kitchen's over there, we'll get to in a minute, but like you could have people serve you and like you're in and out and they're not in your way. You just come in, sit down, have a dinner, have family over, friends, clients, whatever it is. I mean, this is a, what, 10 seat a table. It is a lot, yeah. It's a big family. Uh, Thanksgiving's coming up, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner. You got the tree right there. Yeah, oh yeah, right there in with the little... With the high ceilings, I mean. Right there in the little uh, nook. It is full, dressed appropriately for full. My wife said to me this morning, she's like, are you wearing jeans for a home tour? I was like, it's full, it's fine. <laughs> it's what uh, Paul makes it okay. But yeah. Have you ever had a... I don't know if I've ever had a dinner at like a huge table like this, have you? Only at a golf club. Only at a golf class. Yeah, I don't play golf, so yeah, not, only, cool like, not really like a family. Don't really do it. I mean, they do, but yeah, we're more of like a sit around, eat dinner on your lap, watch football. Yeah, it's like all right. my family gatherings were just like exactly. sitting in the living room, probably yeah. watching football. Uh, we'll show that a bit in a little. Show the rest of the house in a little bit, but let's go this way first. So when you come in, bathroom. I think that that looks like a marble toilet seat lid, right? <laughs> it looks pretty cool. It is mega. <laughs> That's, first, that's, that's a, the first time we've that's seen the that, first, right? Yeah, yeah. I love that. I'm all about jazzing up your bathroom and just sparing no expense for absolute no reason at all. That's awesome. So we're in like, come left as you come in the entryway, you have mother-in-law suite off to the side, which out of the way, it's just a nice place for your mother-in-law to come and hang out, right? Huge closet, 
That is a very large closet, yeah. All the cabinets in this house have been custom built um, and they're fabulous. And I, they're the same color all the way through the house, which I really like. You don't have to worry about like which color paint room is indifferent. It's just the same all the way through. So mother-in-law, uh, bathroom, plenty of room in there. Love the bowl sink. This is a, uh, a lot of room in here, right? Wild shower, yeah. Wild shower. <laughs> From here, it looks like the reflection, like the, the uh, toilets in the shower. It's not. Uh, but yeah, jazzed up, looks good. Great place for, for mum to come and hang out and, uh, and be with family or any guests, right? But as you come in then, this mega chef's kitchen. Double island. Double island, thick countertops. How long, how long do you think Double Island's been a thing? I've been seeing Double Island a lot in the last few years. Yeah, you've got to be a serious cook to have a Double Island, yeah. right? You've or got to spend like a lot of time in the kitchen. A serious a... like entertainer or something? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna butcher this, but I have an accent, so I get away with it. Mealy, Miele, Me, right? Miele appliances, M-I-E-L-E. Maybe it's not Italian. Maybe this isn't Italian marble. We can say Miele. Is that, I don't know. Maybe it's probably not even not even Italian, uh, but we got to throw that in. So this is the, this is a huge room, right? You, this is a place you're gonna hang out. Yeah. People are cooking. Like I just mentioned, Thanksgiving's coming up. Christmas is coming up. You know, you're probably gonna put a tree in here as well. Got a dining table. You could put a bigger dining table in if you wanted to, and then you have a huge TV to watch football or golf. In my case. Uh, do you watch any other sports? I, I really don't really watch sports in general, to be honest. Do you watch golf? Yeah, well, when is the it, Masters is, is on. Go, is golf a sport? Is golf a sport? <laughs> Let's not have a conversation. <laughs> but behind here, I'll show you just so you can see it, that um, you know, all great kitchens have a great you know, prep area and butler's pantry. So plenty of room in there. Again, super built-ins store all your stuff up there. There's so much storage space in this Another, kitchen. This also, I just right. realized how Huge big this was. Fridge. I, I love how like perfect that is. Like my OCD, like the join there and how perfect that fits in there. I, that, I mean, two thumbs up for that. Like who, who built that around the fridge? Because that's the just- specific, The specific, yeah, person see, that did it. Right, when you see a gap and you're like, oh, it's a gap, whatever. But like that is, people probably won't even realize that, but that is, that's that's awesome to me. Like I, like I said, two thumbs up. Also while we're in here, while she we're said something here. about- uh, Yes, so this-, this It's like, uh, you have to have Specific special... pan size, it's a steam. Like I said, I didn't really know a lot about cooking. Um, but you're gonna have a specific span, pan, specific span size, that's what I just said. Specific pan size to put on on the cooktop. That's well, I've never um, seen any... And it only heats up where the pan is not like, so you're never gonna burn yourself, which is really cool. Uh, something different though, the homeowner or the seller of this house makes their own lattice, grows their own lattice, which is the first time I've ever seen that and I'm intrigued. Yeah, because I mean- I've, I do love some fresh lettuce. I've seen some like people growing like uh, basil or whatever yeah. and stuff like that, but That's they it. got a whole setup here. It's called a garden machine with a Y instead of the E. I want to Google that and just see what that Get is. Because that is, that's, I love that stuff, that's awesome. Anyway, these huge pillars, all this kind of well, like work the above there, it's it's awesome. Like all the way around the house, it's, it's built extremely well. Home builder, designer, uh, John Matson, who's done some amazing work. I'm sure we'll point out other features that he's done. Uh, the carpet's just been vacuumed and I feel bad for putting my footprints in it, but it looks amazing. Concrete fireplace, but they mentioned they're wood burners, right? So it, you can have like a other fireplace or a gas fireplace there, but they are. I think gas runs there. But gas runs there, right? But they're, they, they burn, burn wood there. Wood there right now. Old school. I love it. Old school in a kind of a modern house and that concrete works beautiful. So, and I actually like the fact that the TV isn't above Oh yeah, you don't really see that a lot. You don't see that a lot, right? But I love the fact that it isn't above the fireplace in this instance. Some cases it's it kind of no option, but in this instance, you've got to, you know, if you put that size of TV on the wall, it's probably gonna look at little, little oh, yeah, it'll putting it there. It'd be bigger than you the know wall. you can see it from cooking or baking in the kitchen or me burning microwave cookies or whatever it is that I'm terrible at. Uh, but this is where you're gonna spend a lot of time 
in this part of the house, aren't you? For sure. Yeah. Um, I guess let's go. I want to show you this. So round this way is your four car garage in this house. This is probably where you're going to come in. Most people are going to come in through the garage door, which is right there. But what I absolutely love, you're going to come in this way and you have lockers. I am a huge fan of lockers because I come into the house, I can take my shoes off, my you know clothes, whatever it is. You've got huge lockers in here, hangers, shoe storage, shelving. I mean, you could put, you know, look at that. You got your own. You could put anything. Your in own it. specific locker. Your own specific one. I mean, if it was me, I would put like name plates up here, <laughs> number, you know. You do it all out, yeah. But yeah, you've got plenty of room. That's just a really neat idea. And then we have uh, the pool bathroom right here, which we'll get to the pool later and outside, but pool bathroom out of the way, you've got guests over, there's a side gate, so people don't have to come in through the house. They can, if you've got a pool party, they can come to the side of the house. Um, closet, I believe, I think so. Storage, yeah, another storage closet, kids' toys, plenty of built-in space. And then we won't go up the staircase, we'll go up the other one, but this is a staircase that goes up to the media room. Bonus room. Bonus room, gym, uh, whatever. Upstairs. So there's three staircases in this house. So let's go back this way and show you more of kind of where the entryway is uh, office and master bedroom. And then we will go upstairs. Look at that view, Kevin. Can you just kind of see that? Show that a little bit. Out there, 50 acre pond. No, sorry. 50 acre lot across the street that's. Well, no, the, the, the lake is 50 acres. The lake is 50 acres too, right? Fully stocked. I'm not a fisherman, but I would probably catch fish in that pond if it's fully stocked. Yeah, it's just false sense of like, you're really good at fishing. Like, no, there's just so many fish in here that you're gonna catch something. Uh, but yeah, coming through entryway, sitting, reading, piano room with view of the pool, view of the deck area out there. This house is on two and a half acres, just over two and a half acres, and their land goes all the way to the edge of the pond. I think it, she said it goes into. Into the pond, okay. So it goes to the edge, if you want to go in, you can go in, but you got like HOA common areas with the bridge and the area right there. It's we were here this morning. Ken and got some beautiful drone shots this morning at like what eight o'clock, and the mist was coming up off the lake. Fall morning. Wish I had a coffee. Sat out there. Uh, some yeah, wildlife out there. It's just yeah. peaceful, right? I'd say let's just cancel the video and do let's that. just cancel the video and just get some coffee. But yeah, nice kind of seating area. Um, a lot of pianos we've had in our, yeah. it's like a theme with luxury houses, right? It's piano. And you've yet to play one. I, Honestly, I don't think I would want to play somebody else's piano though. Yeah, if it's, it's kind of like, it's wrong. Well, I'd also- Have you seen Step like Brothers? Have you touched my drumsticks? <laughs> That's what I think of. You touch my piano keys? <laughs> I was um, thinking I would like- Do you want to think of it Break it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. But, so this is the other staircase. Um, so this, this one, the one by the garage and then the master one that goes up. The, so we are, um, let's show the office first. This is the office right off the main entry area. So if you have people, a lot of people now working from home, if you have people coming in to the house, say, hey, come in through the you know, main door, take a right, you don't have to see the rest of the house, right? You don't have to walk through the house to get to my office. You just come straight in. Built-ins, again, beautiful, match the color of the house. I probably would have put a bigger, I thought that was a TV, it's not. Never mind, <laughs> that's a picture, painting. Um, I would have a TV in here. Um, but yeah, beautiful entryway. So you would have a, could you get work done with TV? Oh, I, yeah. You know me, I work for my phone, so just, it doesn't matter. I don't need all this. But the cool thing, we only had this, I think, in one other house that we did, which was in Arcadia. Um, this. Goes through into the master closet, right? How often do you think uh, you would use that? I would use it every day. Every day, just yeah. to feel just cool. to not walk around, <laughs> like to save what twenty feet of walking. I also awesome. just the novelty of it. I would want to use it too. Well, so. and you, it's it's so like it's so like flush to the wall that you're never going to notice unless yeah. Uh, so to, I was right? going to say um, you wouldn't notice. Yeah, so I, I see a lot of houses and I see some stuff like this and there's a lot of times where I'm like, this is obviously. This is a door. Yeah. But that does you not. You wouldn't know. Right. So let's go through that way then, master Honestly, bedroom. Honestly, when, when she said it, I was like, yeah, <laughs> like, where's the door? Um, yeah, master bedroom downstairs. The only other bedroom downstairs is the mother-in-law suite bedroom. Um, but this one comes through its own kind of private patio area and the hot tub is right there as well with the view of the pond. 
um, setting sun is that area, sun rising over there. Ooh, so that would be nice. setting sun through the trees and that shade comes down as well as the shades outside. Master bathroom, beautiful tile work. Glorious, plenty of room in here. This is a very large bathroom. If this was me, just because you have room for it, just a massive tub right here. In the middle? Why not? What would you do with this over here? I don't know. I mean, just built it. I don't know. But just, I don't know why. It just like, I walk in and think, I tell it's this is there's so much room right here. Just a freestanding closet. Just a, fr just a monster, right? But no, this is a great place. Obviously, I, 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 uh, I do take baths. I'm a huge fan of baths or baths, however you say it. How it's do you a say bath. It? It's a bath. Bath. I say bath. Uh, with a view of the lake and the screens that come down as well on the patio out there, which we'll see. But I'm a big fan of, you know, rubber ducks and bubbles. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got used to like throwing in little comments now, Kenan, that kind of just get you to lose it a little bit. So I'm trying, but yeah, you got, obviously the wife's is going to be over there. The husband's one's going to be over there, more room, makeup, mirror, and these have little touch things in them. I don't know why, but I think they, it's a light. It's really cool, right? I think that square around is a light. That? I don't know. They got rings in them and I'm sure they're lights. So now someone has my fingerprint. <laughs> yeah, beautiful master bathroom. The shower, cola shower, right? All run by this little system right here. And it's absolutely massive in here. Three shower heads. That's going to disperse a lot of water from under there. The only good thing that you need is water pressure. So, oh, I've said this before. I've been in a lot of showers. Oh, with the drain thing? Well, no, the the wall. The jet. Yeah. I've never been. I've been in a lot of showers like this just because I shoot real estate, but mm -hmm. I've never like experienced just, a shower yeah. like that. And I think it would be wild. Well, to pass have... me the camera and we'll turn on the light <laughs> up. <laughs> I don't think the homeowners be a, like, hey, this, the camera. I took a I took a shower <laughs> today. What? Uh, okay, master closet. Uh, plenty of room. I always like when they put drawers in the middle and a countertop. You seem to like can... things just in the middle of the room. Yeah, I do. Well, think about it, right? When you, so you got the you got the one of the um, laundry, laundry rooms. rooms right there. So you're gonna pick up your laundry and come in here. You this is a folding table for sure. Oh yeah. Right. You're gonna come in here. You're gonna fold everything, and it's at the perfect height to just fold stuff. Right. Like I don't have to bend down, which is very good for my back and everyone else's back that's watching. Um, so yeah, you got awesome closet, loads of room, shoe rack, wife's side, husband's side, husband's a golfer because he's got golf shoes. Good, good man. Um, and then this was this is the mirror, right? That you basically walk through into oh, the, the office. The reverse to the to the trap door. So there it is. Um, but yeah, I mean it's really cool to connect like this. Designers done a great job of throwing that in there. Um, and, and one of the laundry rooms here, there's another one upstairs. I think the upstairs one's more of the main one. There's a lot, of, it's a lot bigger and three bedrooms upstairs as well. So, and those are the kids' bedrooms. So you're gonna have more kids' laundry. Show you uh, the outside real quick, just right here. So yeah, coming outside, um, you got a little storage thing as well for the toys, kids' stuff. Um, this is a smaller little patio. There's obviously the bigger one that goes around, around the side where you're probably going to have more your family over at and throw parties and stuff. But just for you and your wife to come and sit out here and hang out, have a drink, have a glass of wine before you go to bed. Screens come down, setting sun. Yeah, this would be awesome because, yeah, you, like the sun does set over yeah. there. So it would be very awesome to sit and just like look at the wildlife. Look at the, it's kind of hard to see because it's so bright, but. There's some ducks over there. Ken is going to do some David, some ducks over there in a David Attenborough voice. But yeah, this is a cool place to sit, um, especially in fall when the trees are changing colors. So let's go upstairs, I think, Kenan, before we go all the way outside and show you the entire backyard. Let's go upstairs. One, This is, I guess, the main staircase, so we'll use this one. But there, obviously there are three, and we will come down the one that's um, by the pool door, right? By the pool bathroom from the outside door. So coming upstairs, uh, interesting, you have carpet everywhere in this house, which I don't know about. What, about. what do you think about it, carpet everywhere? It's different, you see a lot it's of It's different, wood. isn't it? Yeah, you see a lot of wood. You see a lot of, yeah. So I don't mind it. I'm sure it's nice when you walk around barefoot. But, so this is the staircase that comes up that was right in front of the closet and master. So you're gonna come up this one. 
this, I'll show you this one first. This is the second utility room, laundry room, plenty of space in here, more storage. So you got your linen closet, blankets, comforters, all the rest of it. Plenty of stuff upstairs. I love the two laundry rooms in this house. Can you imagine trying to walk up these stairs with all your laundry? Oh. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> so as you come to the main stairs then, kids bedroom with a bathroom right there. View of the pool, real cool. Down the hallway, we have storage. You could probably put a coffee bar in here if you wanted to, so you don't have to go downstairs. Um, really like the hardware. The hardware, it's really good. Good choice of uh, handles and, and knobs. But kids playroom. You gonna do the monkey bars? I can, I can probably do like two pull-ups. Um, as you can see though, see the camera system that's right above the playroom? It's a camera system through this entire house. Oh yeah. So like your kids are always in view basically. Yeah, you can be hanging out downstairs. You can and be watch, hanging out sure and watching. I mean, I wouldn't advise leaving your child <laughs> alone that's John the Jungle Gym or whatever, but this, uh, this is a really neat playroom that can also be used as a bedroom. Other bedroom then, another kid's bedroom with bathroom right there and a closet. Again, view of the pool and a lot of natural light, Ken, and we love that word, don't we? So it's awesome. Bathroom, so you got, well, you got one, two, three. So you can put, use that as a fourth bedroom if you were upstairs or if you wanted to, but they've used it as a playroom with no door. You could put a door in there and put there. Um, but yeah, this is the other bedroom. And the best thing about this one, so you got bathroom that side um, and bedroom here. Best thing about this one though, is we have another secret door through the closet, kid's closet, mirror. No, it's not. <laughs> through into the media workout upstairs entertainment area. So now when you look at that door, it's just shelving, right? So it's, it's got, you know, the, you've got your, got your bands on there, got your workout shoes, cycling shoes. And here we are, which is, it's kind of neat to have it, have that, another secret door, but you know, it's, to have like the media room and workout area. Yeah, like have a dedicated areas, space. TV. I it's think it's a, always helpful to have like a dedicated space for stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Makes it easier to actually do it. <laughs> right, because you know, a lot of people usually have, like like the house that we, store, we saw um, that had the Peloton in the basement, right? Mm -hmm. the, the historic house that we saw. Designated space just to have it. And, and also I think you can come up here, the staircase that will go down that you'll see in a second is right by the garage door as well. So again, if you've got friends over, they're not coming through that door. They're coming through up the stairs, mm -hmm. right? So screen, projector, movies, family time. There's more room for seating up here as well. You know, a couple of giant bean bags. There's a fridge and sink. And you know, if you want, you drink beer, you drink Dr. Pepper. Most people in Oklahoma drink Dr. Pepper. So, and I think bathroom here as well. What are they drinking in uh, Wales? Um, what are we drinking, Wales? Yeah. I mean, no, a aside, lot of things. Aside from like alcohol, like what's your like non-alcoholic beverage of squash. choice in Wales? Squash? Yeah, so we call it squash. It's like orange cordial with, with water. So you get like bottles of like really concentrated like juice. So it's like orange or it's blackberry or whatever flavor. And then you put, you put a little bit in a glass, like a pint glass, and then add water to it. Just like literally like at that much? A little like maybe an inch, maybe a thumbnail. And then you fill the rest with water. Yeah, water and nice. Yeah, it's called squash. Is it like sugary or what is it? No, it's just like, it's like juice, but with water. So if you if you poured like your juice, like that much juice and you added water to it, that's exactly what it is. And that's? It's amazing. Robinson's beautiful. All right. Uh, yeah, so this is your media room and, and workout area. I'll have to show you a bottle of that stuff. Might have to get it. I'm actually can. really curious because I it's want good. to It's good, tastes good. Take uh, me to Wales. And take you to Wales it. and we'll drink squash when we're hungover. All right, <laughs> down this staircase then. This staircase is going to lead to a door that looks like a closet door when we were by the lockers earlier. So this is the third staircase. So when you come down here, you're gonna go out this door and it's... as you come here, it is, we're back in the entry area. I'll get this side of you. So yeah, that just looks like a bathroom or closet door, right? Yeah. So there you're gonna come in and we're good to go. So let's go outside. All right. 
I could spend a lot of time outside here, Canon. Yeah, this is like, a really nice outdoor area. It's perfect temperature right now, isn't it? it yeah, it really is. Like, I mean, okay, we're shooting this a little early in the morning. A little early. It's like nine o'clock. It's not that early, but it's like 55 degrees and it just feels mega. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. So we're outside, massive TV, kitchen right behind you, Canon with fridge, grill, Sm what is that grill what's this right it's here? like a smoker smoker see you can tell how good i am at cooking i'm not even going to try and open that it's on i tried to open it the wrong side see how good i am um but yeah you're outside you've got dining area couch area you're gonna spend a lot of time out here the screens can come down to protect you from the wind and they can shade you as well you get three fans here to keep you cool if it is in the middle of the summer and you're baking hot you just jumped out of the pool you got hamburgers, you're gonna grill out, um, and it's it's just a cool spot to be, isn't it? And I, I like I like that it's separate from the the master one that we showed earlier, right? That's yeah. kind of like the other side of the pool. Your own little place, right next to the hot tub. Right next to the hot tub, setting the scene, Kenneth. Right, romantic hot tub into the master. We won't talk about anything else, but heated pool, self cleaning pool as well, which is like that speaks to me because if I have a pool. The, I just, mm, yeah. You're not trying to clean it. Pools in Oklahoma are not, not a good idea for me because I just wouldn't clean it. But self-cleaning pool, beautiful landscaping, steps down, kids play area. I mean, what more do you want? If you like to fish, you're on the dock every morning. Hey, right there. Ripping lips. <laughs> you know what they say? <laughs> no, isn't that what they say? I am not a fisherman, but I think so, yes. Right? R yeah? Okay. <laughs> Ripping <Yeah>. lips. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what a place. Um, like I said, this house is, you know, just 7,300 square feet, just a little bit more, just over $2 million. It's on two and a half acres in Jones. First time we come to Jones. Uh, there's some amazing houses out here. Rolling hills. The landscape's beautiful. It's, uh, it's uh, and in a small gated neighborhood too, right? There, there isn't that many homes in here. Yep. There's still houses going up. And even here, you can't hear the construction. They're building a house right across the street and you can't even hear that right now, which is which is really nice. Got the water running, some bird chirping, this uh, tranquil, I think, right? Tranquil is probably a good word for it. It's a it. good word, yes. So, uh, beautiful house. Thanks, I guess, thanks to you guys to, to watching this one. Um, as always, thanks to Peak Real Estate Photography, Canon for doing awesome video work, Porsche of Oklahoma City for giving us a beautiful car to transport today, uh, Porsche 911 that is currently for sale, uh, and Mizzen and Main for for giving me some some plaid, right, for uh, for the fall season. Solid so, fall fit. Yeah. Uh, information about Holly Robertson and this listing will be in the description down below. Check that out. Check out her and her listings, uh, Cherrywood Real Estate, and yeah, we will see you next episode. Cheers.